Hi friends, host Eric here, host of Talking with Famous People. I want to make a brief video about this human magnetoreception article that I've read on Gizmodo here. Um, note here that there is no such thing as an extrasensory perception. We've shown this is a proper sensory system in humans, just like it is in many mammals, many animals. That is to say, magnetoreception. And some bacteria and protozoans exhibit magnetoreception, as do migratory birds, sea turtles, and dogs are also sensitive to the Earth's magnetic field, orienting their bodies along the north-south axis when they poop. So, scientists tried to determine 30 years ago that if humans have similar capacity, but to no avail. When the years that followed, work on animals increasingly pointed to magno magnetoreception as a result of a complex neurological processing, a possibility that motivated these guys to test the issue. And they tested it in a very intelligent way. They isolated them in a magnetically, basically neutral space, using this stuff here, and then had coils that generated magnetic fields that caused, that they had moved around the people's brains, or moved around their heads. And and then they did uh, EEGs, okay? So, if we look at this here, I guess it shows the data or whatever. But after the experiments, none of the participants said they could tell when or if any change to the magnetic field had occurred. So in other words, sometimes the coils are doing stuff, sometimes they're not. They're checking to see if anybody can consciously determine, yeah, I can tell you when it's on and off and where it is and stuff like that or something like that, but nobody can. Nobody even notices a difference. However, but for four of the 34 participants, the EEG data told a different story. As noted in the new study, the researchers recorded a strong specific human brain response to simulated rotations of Earth strength magnetic fields. Specifically, the magnetic stimulation caused a drop in the amplitude of EEG alpha waves between 8 and 13 hertz. A response shown to be repeat repeatable among those four participants even months afterwards. Two simple rotations of the magnetic field appear to trigger the response move is comparable to a person nodding their head up or down or turning it from left to right. In other words, that's the that's the amount of magnetic field change. Like that, it's the equivalent. Changing your directionality is the equivalent of. In the study, they kept people as directionally stable, and then they moved the field. But in real life, of course, the field stays relatively stable, and we move. So that's what they're saying there. Uh, The alpha waves dropped from between five, eight, 13 and between eight and thirteen hertz. A response shown to be repeatable amongst those four participants. Note that the alpha rhythm is the dominant brainwave produced by neurons, but individuals aren't processing any specific sensory information or performing a specific task. In other words, there's a a neutral equilibrium state that isn't directed attention, which further gives us good indication that. Directed attention is different than is some other uh, other manner of cognition that might not be directed attention. That we can draw a meaningful distinction. That there's physical indication that the distinction can be drawn. Okay, so uh, the researchers don't know how the human brain is able to sense magnetic fields. Biogenetic magnetite, magnetite for human brains. But the thing I want to make a point about here, it says here, magnet o reception is a normal sensory system in animals, just like vision, hearing, touch, taste, smell, gravity, temperature, and many others. Except the difference is we, don't, we can't think of any other senses that people have that are senses of that sort that not everybody has, that only... 4 and 34 people have. So 4 and 34 is about 
twelve percent. You know, ten percent, something like that. A little bit less, a little bit more than ten percent, twelve percent. So, um, why is it that only twelve percent of the population has the ability to magneto recept? Assuming we extrapolate out and the percentage stays the same, which I'm sure it wouldn't if we were to have a large study, but. Um, explain that what does that mean what, what are the takeaways from that and that's really why I'm making this video I want to hear other people's thoughts about this what what conclusions can we deduce from that reality that there's a sensory perception that only 12% of the population has now heretofore until this moment I believed everybody had all the same senses, right? Like vision, I mean, it might be broken, but you're endowed with it. So, how much of a paradigm shift is that? I haven't even begun to really calculate all the TI complications involved with this notion, but um, it seems rather... It seems rather important, if true, that 12% of the population has an extra sense that the rest of the population doesn't have. Hmm. I don't know. You talk to me in the comments, please, about the implications of this, what you think about it, and uh, what, if anything, it means in terms of species, for example. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to eat plenty of cheese.